Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on introduction to wastewater engineering. In this we are going to see its types and methods, systems etc. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses. Also please share this video and please subscribe our YouTube channel too. Uh, welcome to this lesson on introduction to wastewater engineering by Sharyu Pujari. Uh, so about me, I have completed my MTech in environmental science and technology. I have completed my BE in civil engineering. I have two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. This is my profile. Please do rate, review and recommend my courses because it is very, very important for me as an educator. So let's start with the wastewater engineering. Previously, we have completed water supply engineering. So for my previous courses and lessons on water supply engineering, please follow me on uh, an academy learning app. So let's see now wastewater engineering. So if you see the total layout here, here you can see the source is there and community is there and the system which are going on is from source we pick up the water, uh, we withdraw the water, we treat the that water in water supply engineering we have seen that and then the disinfected or purified water is then sent to the community and when the community or the people which use the water uh, like 70 to 80 percent of the uh, water supplied is generally converted into wastewater or into the sewage right so that water is collected in wastewater in it is first collected then it is conveyance through the sewers right sewers are the conduits which conveys uh, wastewater so they are conveyed by sewers so the pipe network uh, network which carries this uh, uh, wastewater is known as sewerage system so this sewerage system it goes to the treatment why treatment of uh, wastewater because we cannot directly dispose the wastewater which is generated from the residential area or from even industrial area because it may contain some bacteria or viruses right or toxic substances which cannot be disposed directly into the source so before disposing that into the source first treatment is required so after treatment it is safe to dispose it into again to the source so this is the total system of wastewater engineering and water supply engineering so please do understand what is the difference between them and do try to follow this diagram so the main objective of wastewater engineering is that to quickly drain out the wastewater away from the community so we need to quickly drain out this wastewater from the community and then treat it and then send it to the source or disposal next objective is to make the wastewater fit to disposal so that is the treatment process so these are two main objectives so let us see some terms which are related in wastewater engineering so the first one is sewage so this sewage is used a lot of times in wastewater engineering let's see what the sewage means it is <coughs> sewage is all forms of liquid waste produced by the community it includes domestic wastewater industrial wastewater as well as storm water right next is sewage it is the less offensive liquid waste produced by the community for example waste from kitchens bathroom kitchen sink wash basins and storm water that is sewage next one is sewer so sewer is a conduit carrying sewage is known as a sewer right so the pipe which is carrying the sewage or wastewater is known as a sewer what is the sewerage <coughs> so the network of sewers used in collection of uh, collection conveyance and disposal of sewage so this network of sewers is known as sewerage system the next is the dry weather flow so dry weather flow and wet weather flow are very important terms so dry weather flow means it is a domestic and industrial wastewater produced by community is generally known as dry weather flow and wet weather flow is nothing but it is a storm water or rainy water storm water resulting from the community is wet weather flow right 
so the methods of sewage collection and disposal so the first method is dry and conservancy system uh, this dry system dry and conservancy system is generally a old system olden days system nowadays it is not used so the current system which is used is known as water carrying system so the types of sewage systems so these were the methods and the types of sewerage system in that the first one is combined system so it generally consists only one sewer so here only one sewer will be carrying the wastewater in which all the water is collected into one sewer only and it can handle both dry weather flow and wet weather flow means storm water and the wastewater from residential area or industrial area both it can handle so what happens when it is going to handle both the wastewater so if the diameter required is large so that is one disadvantage so they they are generally preferred where areas receive, receive normal rains and short rainy season why normal rains and short rain, rainy seasons because they if uh, the rainy uh, if it is very rainy or heavy rainy the load on one sewer increases so we cannot provide their combined system so for that purpose it is generally used for normal rains and short rainy seasons so next is separate system here two sewers are laid one for dry weather flow and other floor for wet weather flow generally preferred where areas receive heavy rains because of heavy rains these both are different sewer lines that's why load on one gets reduced also at places where rainy season is for long period right that that places separate uh, systems are provided next is partially combined or partially separate systems here what happens employees two sewers are generally provided or employees two sewers one handles the storm water and other sewer also handles storm water along with dry weather flow in heavy rains conditions sewer water takes storm water right so whenever there is a heavy rain condition sewer water takes the storm water as well means if there uh, so the dry weather flow sewer will take storm water also so it employs in regions which receives moderate rains with occasional heavy rains right so in both the areas where there are moderate rains with occasionally heavy rains are there so these are some points related to wastewater engineering we have seen its types its methods and also we have seen some terms related to wastewater engineering so my next lesson will be on estimation of dry weather flow and wet weather flow which will describe uh, which will we'll see their formulas and then we'll solve examples on that particular uh, point right so please do rate review and recommend thank you